All right. Let's go up and add a couple more arrays of points. I'm going to call one of them my curve. Oh, I forgot the parentheses. And again, begin with the curly braces. And just follow along as I type in the coordinates. The line continuation character is not uh, critical. It just makes it easy to read on one screen. Can you imagine in your mind's eye where these points are going? I hope those are correct. And while we're up here, let's go ahead and add another one, my rock. We're going to draw a rock. Okay, so a new array of points called my curve and another one called my rock. Let's come down and actually use those. Let's see here. What I want to show you now is how to draw curves. Yeah. Draw curve. Uh, I'm going to use my pen. And I want to, the array of points is going to be my curve. I then want to draw my rock, and this is going to be a closed curve. I want this to be slate gray, and my rock is the name of the array of points. And then finally I want an outline, oops, draw closed curve. I want this to be my pen, a thick black line, and then I outline it with the arrays of my rock. And you'll see that this is a nice, nice feature here. All right, here we go. Here's our nice curve, and here's our rock. All right, so notice that these look like they're computer generated. All these little curves, especially when you get down here and look at the curve lines, they don't look so hot. Um, I should have showed you this earlier, but now is a good time as any to show it to you. Let's add some smoothing. So if we come way up here, right underneath the time that we create graphics, okay. So let's create this. Let's set the smoothing mode equals, and now we have all these um, choices. We're going to choose anti-alias. And this is going to really smooth things out. So did you see how it looked just a second ago? Now let's take a look at it. There you go, much smoother. See that? Nice. All right, let's do one last thing. I want to show you that you can not only draw shapes, but you can actually uh, put words on the screen. To do this, we need to create a font, my font as new font and the name has to be a font that the computer recognizes courier new is certainly that font and let's make it 20 points the size is going to be 20 and let's make it bold okay so we just created a new font called my font and now let's use it as you can imagine, it's going to be G dot draw string. You might have seen it down here. Okay, and we can type anything we want to here. G 
issues and graphics 101 as you can see here I'm looking for the font that we're looking for uh, and I want it to be my font now it's looking for a color how about nice blue and then a location an X coordinate and then a Y coordinate all right let's run it let's see what we get here we are and that concludes graphics 101 tutorial alright now it's your turn to take the lessons from graphics 101 and see if you can't reproduce this image here